All right, so once again, we're going to mix our plaster. over the vibrator. For about 20 to 30 seconds. I'm going to introduce some plaster on the paper towel. Bring my articulator over. I'm not pressing my articulator all the way down. I want a little bit of plaster under the articulator. And now I want to introduce about 20 millimeters or so of plaster thickness all the way around. And when you do this, have the plaster a little bit wider than the actual base of the lower cast. I'm not in a rush here because I'm only doing one at a time now. Lots of, lots of time. I'm gonna take the mounting itself. I've separated the back of the casts. And I'm gonna take a little bit of plaster, Jack, a little bit of plaster, and I'm going to smear that plaster inside the keyways. Make sure they get the plaster gets all the way in. It's not gonna do it on its own. Introduce some more plaster on the back of the cast, all the way to the edges. And then now, I'm going to position the mounting. So this little line that we have that indicates the mid paddle to suture is perpendicular with the hinge axis of the articulator. It's centered over the articulator. And the plane of occlusion, as I get down here, almost down on my knees, I make sure that the plane of occlusion is parallel left and right to the bench, as well as interior, interior posterior to the bench. So before you get any further, you want to clean off the plaster from the sides of the cast. An easy way to do it, you can certainly use your spatula, but this rounded spatula is not conducive to what I'm trying to do here. You can certainly use your plaster knife, as we've done before, but here's a, a much more efficient way. I'm gonna take my scraper, and do that. Show it to you on this side as well. And of course you gotta time it properly. You don't wanna do this too early, otherwise you're gonna be moving your mounting around. But I feel that the plaster has set enough for me to be able to do this. And I'll do the front here too. And if you've noticed, I'm, every time I scrape, I clean it off on my hand. I did move my models a little bit too far back. Ideally, I should have had the models position a little more into the mounting but I think it's just the nature of the articulator. This lower lip kind of sticks out a little bit too far. Can I redo the mounting? Yes, I can, but I don't think it's a big factor as long as you keep it relatively clean. I'm gonna go back to the scraper and clean off just this back portion here. So the only thing I have to do after the plaster sets Obviously boil off the wax once I finish with the upper mounting and just put a little sandpaper on the plaster to make it nice and smooth. 
I don't even have to carve it with any of my knives. I'm just shaping it while it sets. So try using your scraper to initially carve the plaster and I think you'll have a, loss, a lot less trimming to do after the plaster has set. Now at this point, the plaster has set enough for the lower mounting, I can move to the upper. 